So my name is Angelo Denson. I am 5'11 and a half. Don't forget the half. And I'm weighing in at 270 pounds right currently. Okay, bud. Um, so you, last time we talked to you, you were getting ready for your first show, uh, the Western Michigan here in uh, Michigan. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about how that show went and what the experience was like and how you did. Uh, so the show in itself was a whole experience. It was all new to me. Um, it was definitely a roller coaster ride. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the process. Um, I embraced the suck a lot. Um, it was my first time ever having to do that much cardio um, with low calories. Um, so my cardio went up to two hours a day, about three weeks out. So I did an hour before work and then went to work and then an hour after work. Um, and so we, we kept it like that for about three weeks. Um, but overall, the show was a good experience. Uh, I was super nervous on the way to Grand Rapids. Uh, didn't even have a song picked out. I had to tell one of the guy, one of the, the engineers that, hey, look, I, I got this song. I couldn't download it because I was so nervous. Um, definitely not in my comfort zone. Um, and then I, he ended up hooking it up with the song that I wanted, and I came out and posed. But um, the bright lights definitely got to me a little bit. It was my first time, I think, ever being in front of that many people. Um, but we, we took overall. We took first place, and um, it was a uh, it was the uh, start of a new beginning. So and that was novice. That was I competed in novice, a true novice, and um, open heavyweights. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Very cool. And what was the experience like for your rebounding after the show and stuff? How'd that go? The rebounding was probably harder than the actual prep because at that point after the show, right, you don't have anything else to prep for. There's no there's no ceiling, right there. It's just now you have to just continue to stay on track, to stay tight, to you know keep your health under control, um, and uh, you just want to eat everything because you're not prepping for anything. But uh, with great discipline and my coach by my side, shout out to Coach Dan Setzer, um, he 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 kept me grounded and kept me rooted, and um, we just we just stayed the course and we we followed that plan for about a month, month and some change, still kept the cardio pretty high. And we run about 2,400 calories, and then after that, you know, we stayed tight, and he finally let up, <laughs> and he added more food, and you know, we just took it from there. It completely is. I'm telling you, man. It was, it was, it was a rough time. It was like I said, it was almost worse than the prep itself because I mean, at least I had to prep. I knew I was prepping for something. At the rebounds, you're not prepping for anything. You just want to eat. You just worked your ass off for, you know, 20 weeks. And after the show, you just want to go grab French toast or pizza or whatever, and you and which we did after the show, yeah. but then we got right back on target the next the very next day. So yeah, you kept it. I remember seeing on Instagram you were keeping it lean. And stuff. Yeah, we kept it pretty lean. We still had the uh, ten ounces of chicken and uh, a cup of rice and asparagus. Uh, still had the um, the ninety six four uh, lean ground beef, um, and, and so we t we still kept it tight. Still kept the egg whites. Uh, per, you know, low carb, you know. Uh, so. Now you're doing cardio now, you said, right? Yeah, so he's got me at 30, 30 minutes a day uh, per workout um, of cardio. And I, I usually do my cardio on the stair stepper, so. Okay. And still, though, you're not uh, you're 270 now, but you're not like a slop of 270 or anything. You're, you're maintaining these and everything. Yeah, I think that was the biggest part was the rebound and, and just staying focused, knowing I can grow from a solid, um, leaner weight and, and just grow into that, right, and not, not – be stupid and foolish. So, and you and your coach have decided last year we talked a little bit about that. You possibly you talked about nationals, but then you were like, it's just you want to give your body more time. Yeah, he uh, so after our uh, we won overall the Western, there were some talks about me going to nationals. I think four or five weeks later, my coach decided against it. He wanted to take some time off, give my body a break, give my mind a break, grow a little bit. You know, we wanted to get some parts up you know, cap my delts off, get my back wider. Um, although it probably would have been a good experience, but we just wanted to kind of take it slow and just take a whole year um, to build up to Nationals this year. Um, so we just kind of kind of took it slow. And we, David, you're going to spend that much money and spend that much time in Upper Man go when you're ready. Yeah. I mean, I understand what you're saying. It definitely is an experience. Yeah. Um, but it's good to, like, 
ready for it. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to be as ready as possible and, and not no in between shows or no in between garbage. We just wanted, and that's no no knock to the people who did nationals. Like some people, they look you know look great, you know, um, but it just wasn't best for me. So we, we we took some time off and we're taking time off to prepare for nationals 2022. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, and then that would have interrupted the rebound. You wouldn't have been able to start as soon. Exactly. As yep. Um, so today you did, um, what is the main focus today? Here you did a, a push day today. Yeah, so my, my workout regimen is a push-pull leg off, and then it just keeps cycling. Today we focus more on a push day. Uh, so we did some incline, plate-loaded incline. Um, we did some uh, flat press on the machine. We did some shoulder press on the Smith machine. I uh, did some lateral raises, some stuff like that, some uh, triceps. So that's usually a push day for me. Um, lasts anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and then we, we add some cardio later. Yep. Now, does this, your push pull, does that stay like that during like show prep too, bud, or does it switch up? Yeah, uh, I'm a firm believer in, in if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we do the same thing every day, all the time, the same movements. Uh, Depending on you know how I'm feeling, he may shake something up, but for the most part, we keep everything, everything steady, everything the same, everything is just, just straight and narrow, and I think that's the best, and that's what works for me, you know, and so that's what we we're gonna keep building off that. And how many days are you on? By the way, you take a day off. So it's so it's usually so for example, if you go Monday through Friday, you got push pull leg off. So off would be Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it'd be just push, pull, leg off, push, pull, leg off, whatever day that may follow. Yep. Like yep. Okay. Good deal. That's awesome. Um, so you get some career changes right, happening. Go ahead and uh, fill us in on that and uh, what's, <laughs> what you're moving to. So, yeah, um, I had to take some time to think. Uh, if I wanted to continue bodybuilding, I wanted to um, have the most time to put, to put that time into bodybuilding. Uh, en or enough time, you know, and, and not always just work all the time. So um, there is a job change from Ford Motor Company to Ball Corporation um, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, so I will be moving to Minneapolis, Minnesota, actually in about four days from today. Um, and I've, I've found a workout family down there at, shout out to Los Campeones Gym down in Minneapolis. Every time I go there, they're just always world class, um, always accepting of me when I come down. Uh, I met one of my favorite bodybuilders, Charles Griffin, uh, who will be working with me um, on posing. We'll, we'll get together and do different workouts. Help me just along the way. Show me what he knows. Uh, another guy named Weston I ran into uh, down there. So uh, we got some, some things coming, and uh, hopefully it all turns out great. My Shout out to my best friend, Chris Boston. He lives down there as well. He's the one who kind of, you know, amped me up to kind of give Minneapolis a try. And Minneapolis is a beautiful city. I love the food, love the people. I've never run into any trouble. So, so yeah. So we'll be taking our talents down to Minneapolis, Minnesota, to to work and train and to just live. Dan will still be my coach. He's not going anywhere. We will ride that until the wheels fall off. So um, he's not going anywhere. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, Los Campeones is a uh, is, is my home gym that I even I have a membership now, you know, and it's just one of the best gyms I've ever been to, outside of the great Fenton Powerhouse. But yeah, I think so. I don't I don't think they have a problem. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he Charles is one of he's a world class, world, world all world guy. He's cool. Yeah.